Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have an exciting video for you today. I ordered the Pat McGrath Lust Matte Trans Everything Kit from Sephora and it just arrived. So I'm planning on doing a little unboxing here for you. I'm going to do some lip swatches of all nine colors, do some arm swatches, and then I'll give you sort of like my first impressions thoughts. So if you're interested in finding out more about these Pat McGrath lipsticks, then just keep on watching. <laughs> All right, guys, let me start by unboxing this. I am so excited. So I've been waiting for this box all day today because, of course, I was checking on the, the tracking and when the box would arrive. It said today. So I put on, like, a full face of Pat McGrath makeup. I have the Dark Star, um, I think it was number six kit. I have that on my eyes. I have the 03... Um, highlighter kit on my face. I am like ready for Pat McGrath. Yes. Here it comes in this big beautiful black box with Pat McGrath in her very familiar font in gold right on the cover. Take the lid off. It's just the three trios packaged in so I should mention that this everything kit was $275, so it was quite a discount purchasing all nine of these. Where should I pour these out? That's always the question. Maybe that's why they give you such a big box. So I'm going to dump everything into the bottom of this box here. I do enjoy this. I think it's like... I think it's like Christmas. They're really getting everywhere. <laughs> Do you guys see how <laughs> I got a lot of gold sequins here. If anyone wants them. I am so afraid I'm going to put this box someplace that I'm either going to tip over or step into. Let me get every lipstick out of its little gold foil pouch. I feel like I'm opening up candy. Alright, so I've unpacked all of the lipsticks. Finally, that was that was quite a chore. So why don't we just get into the lip swatches? About the actual lipstick and the formula and what it was like putting them on they are incredibly smooth they have a little bit of a slip when you put them on so they um, for matte lipsticks they don't drag in any way but they are incredibly matte but they don't feel drying but they definitely look matte I could tell when I had some of the lighter colors on like Omi and flesh 3 
that you would kind of see the wrinkles in my lips. Obviously with the darker colors, you have a harder time seeing that. Um, but they all went on super, super smooth. They felt really, really great. They feel really great wearing them. All the reds went on like super pigmented, like one swipe done. Um, and same with the news. So the colors I think are amazing. The um, nude set is probably the most popular one. I'm not surprised. I think my favorite color out of all of these, um, out of this entire range is Omi because it's such an interesting quote unquote nude because it's fairly dark, but it is like a your lips but better. Um, the color Obsessed is probably my next favorite. I just love that kind of bright orangey red in your face color. It really is, I think it's so flattering. Elson is wonderful. I mean, they're all really, really beautiful. And because of the matte finish, I feel like the colors come off even stronger. Like it is just a painting of color over your lips. So they're very dramatic lip. Even the nude colors, they're very, very dramatic. I love this. I think it's amazing for like when you do want that dramatic lip. I am not a liquid lipstick fan. I don't like having that kind of like wet application which slowly dries down and then ends up drying out my lips until they're just like ugh, like awful. This is just a lovely layer, really really smooth, again really really comfortable on the lips especially for something with such a matte finish. It's the most interesting formula ever. It really goes on like a cream lipstick. It feels like a cream lipstick. Um, even when I press my lips together, it feels like a cream. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know what sort of sorcery this is, but it is wonderful. And the packaging is just, there's nothing, there's nothing better than this. There's nothing, to me, I love black and gold. Um, I think Nikki Tutorials mentioned that um, Pat McGrath kind of designed this so that every time you're putting it on, the lips are always facing out so that the bullet is always sort of slanted this way, of course, until you use it all the way down, like I will. I just absolutely love these. And I, again, I haven't worn really, really out of my comfort zone lipsticks, and this this entire set has completely inspired me. I really am digging this color. I am digging um, the Elson color, which is more of a blue-red. I'm just loving this. If you're looking for a comfortable matte lipstick, and if any of these colors speak to you, these are the ones. They are not transfer proof. You will have to reapply during the day. But again, I think that's the price you pay for something that's gonna be this comfortable um, and look this matte. I think that's pretty incredible. If you can get your hands on them, I highly recommend. I do hope, Pat McGrath, if you're watching, if you're watching, I would die. But if you are watching, can we maybe not make these limited? Can we maybe make these permanent and maybe like more colors and like, you know what I forgot? How bright white your teeth look with dark lipstick on. That's the best part. Although I look evil when I smile. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, unboxing, lip swatch, arm swatch, quick review of these lipsticks. Again, I just wanted to rush and get this up for you guys in case you did want to purchase them because they are selling out pretty quickly. And as far as I know, it is limited edition. So like most Pat McGrath stuff, I wish you would stop doing that. I wish everything would be permanent. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you've purchased these or if you have any questions about these. I'm sure I'm forgetting some really important information because I'm trying to rush and get this up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.